We need to get these babies out from mama. Are you tired of all these babies? Yes. Too many babies. They're weaned, ready to go to new homes. Girl, now okay, girl. Attention, hog. <laughs> so, you guys, we're getting down to the last days of incubation, and that means I need to increase the humidity for the last three days in the incubator. So, let's do that. So we're gonna take the eggs out for just a minute while we fill those. And that's okay, sometimes the mother hen gets off the nest. It's okay, just be for a minute. And get these filled up. And we also don't need to turn them anymore, so this will be their permanent spot. Oh, the mom knows it good. And the humidity isn't quite enough, so we're gonna put a sponge in also. I'm just gonna lay it down. there and I probably need another sponge too. I just don't have one. I need to go to the store and get one. So we will watch and see if the humidity rises to 70%. The thermometer in back tells me the humidity level below the temperature. And remember that these eggs are not viable. There's only one that looks like it might be viable, but I keep them in there because it helps hold the temperature to have those liquid filled eggs. It helps hold the temperature steady. So I just left them in there, but they are no good. And then these over here will hatch into beautiful chicks for us and be olive eggers. So that's exciting. <sighs> All right, three more days left. And you guys will never guess which day they're gonna hatch out. Great timing, Dash. Um, the same day as Rose's graduation. So my eggs will be hatching and I'll be watching graduation. I will not be here, but that's okay. Sometimes it takes them a few days to, you know, get out of there. So a few some hours, it's not always a quick process. So I probably won't miss all the action, but yeah, great timing. How do I do these things? <laughs> but I was kind of forced into that timing actually because my hen died, the one that died, I was gathering her eggs and that's the ones I was most interested in that copper moran egg in hatching. So unfortunately none of those were viable. They might have been a little bit older too, the eggs that I had gathered from her. So that's okay, it's all right. <laughs> Houston, we got a problem. <laughs> when I went to feed my vermicomposting bin this morning, it was filled with water, you guys. So I managed to lift it 
up, which was no easy feat. <laughs> Lifted with the knees or the legs. But look, you guys. Lots of dead earthworms. That is terrible. Okay, some are still wriggling around, so let's get it out of here and get this water out of here and save them. Ah! What happens is the water, when the um, drain pipe gets closed for the rain barrels, um, the water like torrentially comes over the edge of the gutter and it just dumps like right on the bin. And it also floods this area. So I guess maybe it could have filled up from the bottom no it must have filled up somehow from the top because I only have drainage holes in this one and then I have these lifted up on these pieces of wood I have that bin lifted up on these pieces of wood inside this bin so obviously that wasn't even close to enough oh okay uh, I'm gonna have to watch for that in the future. Maybe this isn't the best place for the bin under the torrential downpour of our monsoon spring. <laughs> you guys, I had something totally else planned today, but we're gonna play Save the Worms. <laughs> Aww. Uh. I'll give everyone a little love along the way. Okay, well my goji bears are gonna get some love because they're closer. They used to be in the right place at the right time. Okay, bummer, because I really like that spot just tucked in back there. It was so cool and shady for the summer. But, don't want another flood. And the chances of me keeping those rain gutters always cleared, well, Eli helps me. He gets on the roof and he helps me, but that doesn't always happen when there's a rainstorm, unfortunately. But, yeah. I'm not sure what I'm going to do when I don't have a 12-year-old to climb on my roof and unplug my gutters. <laughs> So I'm going to tuck it right over here. Right there. Not the most attractive thing by my pond, but I could put a plant on it. There we go. I think this stays pretty shady, but I need to keep an eye on it for sure. I don't want to cook them, flood them and then cook them. All right. I had planned something totally else for today. Uh, friends coming to pick me up in a, just a little bit and we're gonna go get some chicks. So that's really fun. But I planned something else for this morning and I ran into this. So, uh, got, how do you say derailed? Yeah, derailed, but that's okay. I will do that other thing tomorrow morning. <laughs> if you run a homestead, you know the feeling of derailment. It happens a lot, doesn't it, to us? Okay, could you just get on this then? Mm-hmm. It flooded. Totally flooded. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when the gutters, um, the rain fell. 
Okay, and we're gonna show you. It must have gotten in through the top. There we go, okay. Thank you! Oh, I forgot to feed them. Okay, well, there's its new spot. <laughs> yeah, it's not the most attractive thing. Well? Well, oh well, for now, that's good. Might get too much sunlight anyway, we'll see. <sighs> All right, you guys, most of the worms were in this lifted up part, so that's good. There, there's still tons of worms in this part. And there's still some food. Okay, well, I was trying to get them to move over to this part of the bin. So I'm going to keep feeding them over there. Save the day. I've got to hurry and get inside because my friend, or i got to hurry and get ready because my friend is coming to get me in a few minutes. All right, let's get these fed. My neighbor gives me food scraps, so that is really awesome. Very kind of her. I give her eggs. <laughs> and they're... They're sweet people. Okay. So. Save the day. Just have to make sure it is not too sunny over here in this spot. <laughs> but thank goodness they had this high place to get into. So that was good. That was fortuitous. Oh yeah, there are still tons of worms. Oh good, good. Save the vermicomposting system. One made it out, you guys. And that'll, the sound of that people will encourage the others. Come on out. All right, we have our incubator, which two chicks have hatched so far, and the power just went out. Oh my goodness. Not sure what happened, but the power of the whole house is out. And we also have these chicks also, which two of them or three of them are just one day old. So, and they don't have their heat source anymore. So, yikes. However, if the air's out, then it's probably gonna get pretty hot in here pretty quickly. <laughs> And it's warm outside, so I could probably take them outside. I'm just thinking what to do. I know, probably, um, usually when our power goes out, the transformer's in a different um, area than across the street. My sister lives across the street, so I will take the incubator over there in a few minutes. Plug it in over there and let the chicks hatch over there. Oh my goodness, how crazy is this? Ah. We're gonna carry the chicks outside where it's warm. The power is off across the street also, so yikes. Oh my goodness. How warm do you think it is outside? Maybe 89, uh, 89 maybe? Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. I haven't checked. We should check the temperature. We're rocking their world. Very precious packages here. We're gonna get it outside where it's a bit warmer. You can put it on that gray table. I thought it was a warm day. Watch out, MJ. Okay. Oh, good idea. We gotta watch for the sun moving. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Very exciting first day of life. <laughs> yeah. I'm closing the door so we don't let the air out. Okay, yeah. Okay, everyone's outside waiting for the power to come back on. It's 90 degrees out here, 
it's our first really hot day this season, so that's good. 90's good. Just still just two here have hatched out and it's 94 degrees in there, so oh hold on. Hold on babies. It's supposed to be a hundred, so ah. <laughs> it's okay. I bet our fire department will get it fixed up in a jiffy. All right, you guys, the power is back on. It was only about an hour. Whew, crisis averted. <sighs> Temperature's quickly rising back up. Still only the two. Got two more little, hopefully hens. <laughs> I almost said little guys, and I was like, nope, no, no guys, girls. I speak into it, girls. <laughs> Meanwhile, someone else has hatched out a little early. Hi. Did you get out of the nest a little too early, huh? I'm surprised mom's not dive bombing me. Mom or dad. <laughs> They're still feeding her or him and looking after him. Oh. Okay, I'll leave you alone so you can grow up a little and stretch your wings. You guys, another one made it out of the shell last night. That makes five in total. I'll take it. Wasn't what I was hoping for, but that's okay. I will take it. <laughs> so sweet. And my brooder is getting full of hatching babies. Or hatched babies. <laughs> Isn't that sweet, you guys? Oh my goodness. Look at all those puppy babies. <laughs> We've got some dark egg layers, Moran's, that I got from the feed store since my dark eggs didn't hatch. And then we've got the rest that I hatched will be olive eggers. So some will be roosters, but most of them will be olive eggers. So that would be fun. I've got friends that are wanting olive eggers, so we will share, share the love. <laughs> so sweet. Love that sound. Okay guys, I think this is the final baby that is going to hatch. I candled the other ones and unfortunately none of my dark ones hatched and these two over here looked like they tried to develop and then something happened who knows so this is my final baby so let's get him out of there in the brooder hey baby let's put her in with the other babies everybody got really quiet when i opened the, the cage all right little baby so tiny compared to the others. So this is the window of time when I need to stop adding babies because they would be way too small compared to this. Now looks like a monster <laughs> who's really just five days old. <laughs> All right. Beautiful. Beautiful spring chicks. So fun. And some of the ones I hatched out will be roosters. Because um, I don't know how to sex them. It, I've heard this very difficult. And some of them are spoken for. They will be all beggars. So I've got a few friends. I will pass them along to my friends. All right. 
Love these babies. So you guys, it is with a little bit of relief that I shut down my incubator. I will clean it out. And I say a little bit of relief because it's a lot of pressure being a sitting hen. As I've said before, this incubator doesn't have a thermostat, automatic thermostat, and it doesn't have an egg turner. So that means I'm the thermostat and the egg turner. So it's kind of good to have that done and done for springtime. I, I'm thinking about doing another batch so I can have some olive eggers for friends. So we'll see. I'll think about it. I'm not sure, but right now I'm ready to kind of breathe and relax and move on to the next thing. <laughs> and leave for the weekend if I need to. Or, yeah, just leave for all day and not have to worry that the chicks are gonna get too hot in their incubator. You guys, we have an ant emergency on the rabbit hutch. Uh, we, this is not a weekend of emergencies. Look, there. <laughs> Hey guys, saying hi to each other. Um, we haven't even have eggs here. So I'm gonna wash this down with a hose, but where they're coming up, I believe, is this leg of the rabbit hutch. So this is gonna come to our rescue, canola oil, and I don't have, I've heard of doing tuna cans. I don't have tuna cans, I will buy some tuna. <laughs> but meanwhile, we are gonna do these. Oh my goodness, so um, we did have trouble with this hutch just the other day. It must just be the, a time for ants, but we had trouble with this hutch. And in this hutch, they're trying to move in this hollow door so they can have a whole colony in, in the hollow door <laughs> and not be disturbed or wet or anything. So that's frustrating. I need to get some glue and glue this down better and then lots of glue and then staple. So I'm gonna do that. But thank goodness I used the hose. I kept washing them off. And now I've got the oil so I can put the legs in in oil so hopefully that will solve the problem so we need to get the hose and wash these ants off and then get the legs in oil also all right it's the weekend of emergencies <laughs> these are my two males this is tamu and this is chewy and they look very when they reach up and say hi to each other they look so affectionate but they will fight to the death male rabbits will fight to the death so yeah they look very friendly there see oh it's so sweet but no no don't be deceived <laughs> it's a thing. Alright, I'm going to wash this with the hose. Hopefully I won't get it in their food. <laughs> sorry guys, you might get a little bit wet here. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Temu. Get those ants washed off. Hopefully this will discourage them. And then I will put the oil out. I know, I know you guys are getting a little bit wet. Sorry. So, back to the battling of male rabbits yeah a lot of people don't know that uh, male rabbits are not fond of each other and that actually if you thought about raising rabbits in a colony which I did see they're trying to go in that door up there oh anyway so I thought about raising rabbits in a colony because I thought that would be more humane and a good way to do that but actually the colony a rabbit warren as they call it is not really a friendly place um, for rabbits yeah the male rabbit in a colony will actually castrate the other male rabbits the young rabbits and he will just mate with one female and have babies with her so yeah and he will take out the competition so and sometimes if other rabbits have end up having babies he'll kill them so it's it's not the place people think oh cuddly rabbits all in a colony but yeah watership down read it it's a good book, but it definitely tell, it talks about the brutality of the rabbit, of the rabbit Warren. So yeah, so that's one reason. Cages. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm not really sure I can do this by myself, but no one's home right now. It's supposed to be kind of my alone plan the week time, but rabbit emergency, ant emergency. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a good try by myself, and if not, I can get probably Eli to help me tomorrow. Yeah, 
I think he's the only one that will be free tomorrow. So, all right, let me give this a try. I did a couple of legs on this hutch yesterday and I didn't let the chickens out because I thought, oh, chickens eat ants, right? Right, you guys? Maybe that'll help get these chickens under here, but um, no, it's not the solution. <laughs> All they did was kick leaves in the thing and I don't think many ants were eaten. Certainly not enough to solve the problem, so that's okay. <laughs> okay, I need to get these corners of this hutch done. I think if I take this out, it'll tip the hutch forward enough for me to get a container on the back there. All right, let's see if this works. Please work, please work. Oh, I can't get in there. Oh, oh I can't get in there. <laughs> it's just a little bit too narrow. Okay, I'm gonna have to go around. Alright, this one has a hole in it, <laughs> a big hole in it right there, <laughs> so I'm going to use this one. Let's try that again. That is probably why people use cans instead of these because they probably don't last very long, so I will be eating a lot of tuna <laughs> in the coming weeks. Tuna salad. <laughs> Sandwiches. And then I'll have to do this all over again. Woo! Let's see if I can get in there to pour the oil in. I bet I can. Sorry, you're in a slant, girlfriend. Got it! of those containers and sh those are my brother-in-law's he does like food prep with them for the week and my kids have nabbed them over time so but what he doesn't know will not hurt him I'll get him some more containers uh, he doesn't watch all my videos so it's all right I found another container a little bit higher a little bit different so I'm gonna put this on and hopefully crisis will be averted for these two hutches the other hutch I don't have enough Four, but like I said, tuna, tuna sandwiches, tuna salad. We're gonna have a lot of tuna. Or chicken, canned chicken, right? Oh, I don't know if the cans are big enough to fit around a two, I think those are two by fours, maybe a little smaller. I'm gonna have to find out before I go and eat lots of tuna. <laughs> Better find out if they fit. That would be disappointing. Not that I hate tuna, but yeah.
homestead victory. Ant crisis hopefully averted. Okay, the next crisis is when the internet guy came to fix the internet, he replaced this orange cable. So he put it along there, around the corner, and on this side of the tree. Now you guys, I'm sure you can probably see a problem with that. <laughs> so he's gonna come, well they're gonna send someone to come bury it, and they're not gonna be able to bury this because of the roots of the huge tree. I don't see any way that they will be able to do that. So, but I see why you did that because my homestead, you guys, have gotten so junky janky. <laughs> ah, so all along that fence is stuff. So, I'm gonna have to call them back and say, give me a hot minute to get this cleared, cleaned up, and then they can come and bury the wire along this fence but I've also got some bees there so that's kind of a problem but we're not gonna worry about that I could probably go around around this desk or maybe just take the wire behind it you know without being buried I don't know anyway we're not gonna worry about that um, but yeah I need to clean this up there's drainage for my French drain I'm gonna do. You know, not anytime soon, but huh, someone gave me free stuff. And then kayaks and old chicken coop and barrel and lumber and bleh. So junky. All right, but that is the job for tomorrow. And I really wish I had my power team of lifters, my boys, my grown boys, but I don't finishing college and we were just in this weekend for the graduation so they are working busy going to school some of them so yeah so it's gonna be me and maybe Eli if I can talk him into it maybe I'll make it rain <laughs> see if I can get him on my crew anyway all right wish me luck with this mess we'll tackle it tomorrow together <laughs>